things I tell people like about Violet Snare. It isn't the greatest snare, but what it lacks in where you would see a Palutena snare, the landing hitbox is something that a lot of people tend to avoid. I'm sorry, tend to usually forget about and they get hit by it. Yeah. It's like, it's pretty decent when you click out a shield. Yeah. It follows up into other neutral airs. You can go like down tilt to neutral air into neutral air. Um, you can follow up after neutral air. It's a pretty solid tool. I think it's like definitely, like I said, it's a ghetto polythane in air. Yeah, yeah. Well, these players are having a little trouble getting into the arena, I guess. I see one person in here. Where, where are these He is on the way. He should have been here, man. Where, where else would you go? The restroom? <laughs> it shouldn't take you that long, alright? Yeah. The smash for life. Okay, Losers is kind of getting there. See the 8-Bit Man and Losers. See Nito and Losers. Vader and losers. All right, we're gonna get it started here. And it, the uh, on the stream, it's like really small. Oh yeah, yeah, I was gonna say it's pretty small. Three, two, I just saw one, the. Uh... Oh, there we are. There we are. All right, so we got burst, burst versus. Uh... And say ninja burst burst ninja it looks like burst selling out I'm not good. <laughs> that is probably really hard like the saying so. and it, i mean it's paying off the inkling is doing pretty well you're 80 percent already open to ninja for ninja <laughs> yeah, I think that's how you say it. Um, but like you said, like the fact that like he's able to just get in uh, against, I think it's Trin, yeah, Trininja. It's like the fact that like even though you do have a disjoint, you do have like startup frames and lag from it. So like the fact that Inkling has the speed and a pretty solid disjoint with back air, but not only that because Inkling has the best low profile in the game. Inkling can avoid things like down air, forward air from back air from Byleth if he's a dashing. Yeah. Yeah, you have so much so much options. Yeah, I mean, kinda going back and forth here. Ninja has a bunch of rage. Uh see if anything can be made of it here, but no, the dash attack will get punished because so much out of shit and burst. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, having those low hitboxes that kind of rise up to the middle hitbox and sends them upwards enough. I've rarely ever seen, like, I think we saw, like, Gale try to do it a couple weeks ago, but, like, I've rarely ever seen up special, like, truly follow up into a back air, as I've seen some players do it. But really good up smash as a call out. Yeah, I mean, at lower percents, you can get it into, like, the side view to kind of follow up, but once you kind of get to the mid range in terms of percentage, oh, like, percent. But, um, once you get to that mid or higher percent, you can kind of just DI in and down and won't get followed up by anything. Yeah. Okay, forward smash, big read here, burst, keeping up all this momentum. Another roll, so that, much ink. Yeah, that was good too, especially from burst, to kind of force an option. If he had gone for anything that would have been like a neutral get up or a jump get up, he would have had to worry about being a splat bomb, but burst definitely understood he's going to go for a roll because he's so scared. Good forward air though, enough to stop the roller. At this point, Burst is just trying to find options to kind of burst in. <laughs> no pun intended. Really good opportunity for him to go for back air after the forward smash too, because he does have some end lag. Oh, he uses the up B, but does not connect. The back air should do the trick here, yes. And right there, Treninja kind of overstanding with that forward smash, kind of almost looking like a desperation option. Yeah. I mean, he's like down a whole sock now at this point, so, so like, Inter Ninja's pretty much really making heat from this. It's gonna be an up air, nice, into a forward air, puts him off the stage. So close to finish it off with another back, it would have been a tough spot for her, uh, Byleth. Yeah, I mean, definitely would have been well done. Oh, the down air, tried to get maybe some kind of bounce up, the tech chase going, but kind of don't need it first. Just keeping this pressure on and really no answer from Ninja, like, the past like, two stocks. 
Yeah. He's finally got enough air, but he misses that opportunity. Gets grounded into the quick turnaround forward smash. I like the fact that, like, usually you see uh, a wave land up smash or wave land smash attack in general, but that was really good for him to understand. Okay, if I just turn around, I do meet that spacing threshold where I can just go for a forward smash to finish it up. Yeah, yeah. So, really good stuff there. And, I mean, Honestly, a very convincing game number one for Burst. I don't know if Trinity wants to stay with Violet, maybe change the stage. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be rough if uh, we stay the same character, too. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, <laughs> I think it's really good here. Like the chat also noticed, like Yoshi can have a difficult time against a character like Violet. Any character that has like a pretty good up air, and in this case, Violet having a really good up air. Uh, will give Yoshi trouble, especially the way we saw how Cloud treats Yoshi. Like I mentioned, characters with really good disjoints and really good aerials, they give Yoshi a run for his money. So oh, seeing yeah. as yeah, seeing as the fact that like Inkling is one of those characters that has the speed, like I mentioned, the low profile, it's gonna give Byleth a lot to work with, a lot to basically fight for. Oh, 100%. Um, yeah, it's uh it's rough and I mean maybe if you have some platforms to hide under Maybe we'll get a character switch, but it was it was pretty convincing. No character switch, but I wonder what the stage will be going into game number two. This is a best of five, so uh, Trinity definitely has some uh, some games to work with. Yeah, and also counter picks as well. So we'll see. Um, this is going to be a much better stage in terms of Kalos. Okay, I like it. Ooh, the Nair almost connecting into the jab. Big damage here, Ninja, but not gonna connect there. And some of these very low percent back here aren't the combo into anything, but that's what you want. As burst, you want those rapid jab, you want that damage, and that. Good forward air, sends a splat bomb. It's really good, it covers the low. I like the fact that it goes for a, um, for the. I actually don't even know the name, for just in general, the ink, because it does have a push effect on it, so it will definitely stop Bio from trying to get back in. Oh, the splatter shot, yeah. Yeah, splatter shot. There you go. Yeah, this is a really good Violet stage. Just walls in general. Violet can up the onto the wall and kind of go from there. You can use it as a recovery tool. So it's uh, it's very hard to gimp Violet on stages with walls. So that's definitely going to be a big factor, including definitely a character that can go hard off stage. Or if you get this roller on stage, for life. Yeah, that was a pretty big play. And like you said, off stage is really important to survive, but it's on stage where Treninja needs to start doing the damage to be able to get it. I mean, he is being sent off stage really, really well. And I also like the fact that Burst still continues a splatter shot, even gets the up special there to kind of push him away from any opportunity he would have gotten to land. I think that's the one thing that Burst has adapted towards uh, Treninja in the stage, right? Is understanding what he can do with the stage and when he can do to stop Treninja from recovering. Yeah, this is it's kind of the same, same story as game one, just really first getting in and Trinidad just trying to use the disjoints, trying to keep them out, but no avail, just not working. Yeah. Oh, good call out on the aerial. Like I mentioned, startup frames and frames of of Byleth is pretty, pretty poor when it comes to characters like Angling Plus. I think it's the back air is frame three, so that's really fast. Yeah, yeah. Really quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no up there, up there. The uh, percentage range doesn't help, but the back air edge guard and the three stock now seeing something like this. Oh wait, what's up, Chris? But seeing seeing like uh that was on his counter he lost harder on his counter pick. That's always feels bad. Yeah. I think I think it's the fact that like he had a really good like we started we saw this as a really good pick early on, and then as the match began to progress, we saw Burst just understand like, okay, I get what I can do in this counter pick of a stage, and then I'll just make this my own. And yeah, he just run him over with a three stock. So we'll see where we go. Game number three. I you gotta play some of the characters. Like, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, you have to have you have to have something in the toolkit here to like survive. There's no way you only play Violet. Like, I don't know, I don't know how to paint the picture more, but like, the Violet ain't work. Yeah. You gotta dig deep in those pockets, man. What kind of pocket character do you have? I mean, ask Gale, right? You, you might probably... as well try it. You might as well try something out. I mean, you got two stocks and then three stocks on your counter pick. Like, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't see why we wouldn't you just try something out. 
If I were a true ninja, I'd just look at my original main and go, okay, who did I used to mean before Violet? Right, Let's you played that. the game before Violet. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the real the real question. Who did I mean before Violet? Let's go with that character. I had some good times there. Someone says I'm gonna hear bet he's gonna go Joker. I mean he could. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, but like you said, Violet man, it just ain't working. I mean, like I Gale has has probably the right mind. Just pick random characters and quick play, and then that's what I learned. that's what I do to learn them. I mean, that's why Gale is kind of one of those. Uh, him and Sheen are the two counterpick masters. Yeah, you just gotta try stuff out. I mean, even it might not work the first time, but it's uh, this is definitely valuable information on like maybe I need a character versus Inkling. Yeah. And even if you you plan on working on the Violet Inkling matchup later on in the long haul, like, you might as well just try to hail Mary now. Unless he's solely just like, you know what, this is really good in practice, I'm just good by it. Then I could understand. <laughs> You're right, but we'll see. It looks like he went random. It's got a question mark on there, so I... Oh, he was going to Ryu, okay. He didn't even know he had to go random. He's like, I don't know who to counterpick. The game decided my fate. <laughs> I actually think Inkling is really good against Dodo, so. Yeah, um, the speed to move in and out of Shoto's is like something that they can definitely struggle with. Uh, having a solid disjoint like back air. Yeah, even up air being two hits, it's just like everything is... Yeah, they can't focus attack out of up air. And the, the off stage is bad, like... <laughs> yeah, off, dead, off stage wow. is really bad, but he lost the stock here, and I'm pretty sure Treninja's really happy about the first stock for himself tonight. Yeah, I mean, he's get, at least low key kind of getting more damage than his uh, Violet. It's kind of crazy, because I mean, most people don't even. It, it's pretty hard to play Ken and Ryu. Yeah. They're, they're very different characters. They are, they are. They, they both specialize in different options. Uh, Ryu specializes more in punch moves. Ken with kick moves, um, just like a really quick primer for you guys. Oh, almost hit the up air. Oh, Tatsu's right out of there though. Ninja, looking a little bit more convincing here. Okay, we're able to take a stock. All right. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the last time he took a stock was game one. <laughs> <laughs> that's where it counts, right? That's where you want to see it go, right? Is he at least able to take the stock? Because if he isn't, then this should have just been maybe. Uh, uh, ask somebody, you know, ask the chat, who should I go? <laughs> right. And, I mean, with with the raid, this is somewhat doable. He's just gonna have to recover, get on stage, get back in neutral. Yeah. Really good opportunity, a little bit there. He waits out. I also like the fact that Burst, uh, he kind of just, I think Burst could've just gone in there for a down tilt. He has the speed to do it. Hey. 67% Inkling, definitely not the heaviest character, but, wow. No punish on the double jump. Throws the slap on the wrong way. Clanks with the roller. Sharon getting away with murder there. Down smash, yep, and that sends him at a really tough angle for him to try to come back. And he makes an attempt with the Tatsu, but he ended up coming a little bit too short. I think he didn't do the up the uh the Shoryuken uh fast enough. Right, or maybe I don't know. I, I've seen like Ken do the rising Tatsu. And his go it looked like it his goes higher, but I don't know if he just did it wrong or if doesn't go as high. Yeah. Nonetheless, he's taking a lot of damage from this grab. Can he get back down to the reset? No, the chase continues, the down smash connects. Comes back, having a little bit of time. I like that wave landing it off the platform, trying to find some extra movement options. Chris knows he pretty much has this in the palm of his hands. All he has to do is just seize the moment. 67%. I like the landing aerial. On the ink, throwing a slap bomb, get the yeah, that was good. It should be a wrap. No, okay, we're styling. Pretty sure you could have dashed left forward smash, but uh, we're, we're getting another one. Yep, and just like that, he is out of here. Game goes to burst with a three stock, and I'm sorry, with a two stock, three stock, and the three are against your ninja. Yeah, good stuff to burst. I'm gonna go ahead and advance straight into.